The Time for Science was founded by John and Nancy Bray and began with some acreage in Grifton. Now, not only do they have the nature trails and planetarium in Grifton, they also have this building in Greenville. Let's check it out. So A Time for Science is a place where people of all ages can come to learn and have new uh, science experiences. Just over 11 years ago, A Time for Science was established by um, Nancy and John Bray, uh, a wonderful couple. He's a scientist, she was a lifelong science teacher, and they decided they wanted to buy up a, a lot of land out in the Grifton area and donate it for the purpose of informal science education. We do specialize in science-based field trips uh, for K-12 students. All of our field trips are geared towards um, the objectives at that grade level. Um, not only here in Pitt County, but we have students come from all around the region. Um, but we also provide an environment where people can come as walk-on visitors, um, you know, for free. Um, admission is free. We do have a suggested donation, but we want it to be accessible to everybody. So walk-on visitors can come in and engage with our um, exhibits. Uh, we also have free programming. You can hear the noise in the background. We've got a Habitat program going on right now. That's a free program that we provide. This one is very specifically geared to kids under five. Um, and with that, parents are very involved. Um, so we help facilitate the program and parents or caregivers, loved ones are involved. So each child is getting that one-on-one -on -one direction and instruction. So I am here with Samantha. Samantha, tell me about the experiments that the kids are doing today. Today we read a book called Near One Cattail, which is about animals that live in wetlands and swamps. And then we had some foam soap and shaving cream that was colored green for the kids to find some of the animals that would make their home in wetlands. So we had bears and snakes and turtles and frogs hiding that they had to kind of use this sensory activity to dig through and connect it to the book that we read earlier. So really they're just being introduced to some of the animals that live in their backyard. They're learning about living versus non-living animals and they're learning about some of the things they might need to grow and survive. We have a little bit of something for everybody. So no matter your age or your interest level, uh, I think we're a place where people can come and have fun and learn at the same time. Here at this location in Greenville, we've got more of the indoor museum experience. So as you can see behind me, we've got a submersible exhibit where it's an immersive exhibit where you go in and actually uh, get to experience a, an underwater adventure. And then we've got self-exploration upstairs with microscopes and lots of specimens that you can spend all day in our naturalist center looking at things on a microscopic level. It's very exciting. I'm here with Elliot, and Elliot is showing me this awesome microscope we have here. Tell me about the microscope. Yeah, we have two super high-powered microscopes up in our naturalist center, and you can use zoom and focus to look at anything in the whole natural center. Anything that's not nailed down, you're welcome to take off the shelves and look at. All you do is put your fingers on zoom and zoom in, and then focus until you can see it. And it lets you get up close and personal with all of our cool specimens. So, what are we looking at right now? Right now, because we're looking at it's off the camera. <laughs> we're looking at the ridge of just a shell. It's just been a wonderful thing to see it grow into the resource that it is now. Well, I think it's really important to be able to um, have these wonderful, not only just fun, engaging experiences, but educational experiences. Well. What I learned today is that kids of all ages can have fun and find out something new at a time for science, even kids at heart. If you want to find out more about the programs offered here, you can go to atimeforscience.org.